Okay, so let's solve the problem on um, on this problem of the day. Is so it's negative five point five point. Okay, so it's negative five point sixty two plus negative twelve point nine. I have it written like that so I don't get confused with that. So uh, it would. I have to write a vertical first. So it's going to be five point sixty two and twelve point nine and z use a zero as the holding place. Now you're adding these. So it's two. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen. So five carry the one. Five, six, eight. eight. And then that's just going to be one. So it's going to be eighteen point fifty two as you can see right here, right there, as you can see that. So yeah, right here is the answer, which I will rewrite. So it's more clear, 18.52 squared, like that. All right. Okay, so now we got a subtraction problem here for decimals. So it's going to be, as you can see, right there. That's that's the problem. So let's, we're going to have to rewrite this vertically. So it's going to be 15.39 and 2.6 and use zero as the decimal as the holding place again and subtract it. It's the same concept. So nine do. Now you're going to have to uh, do this, so that, 4, that's going to become 13, so 13, 12, 11, 10, 11, 7, and then add that, 4, 2, and the 1 will just be there, and that is how you solve that, so it's going to be 12.79, and that is how you solve your problem. Okay, so how to multiply this is this problem right here. Well, this this problem right here, this one right there. Okay. Uh, so what we want to do is so we're gonna solve it. So it's gonna be 4.02 times 0.7. And then 2 times 7 is, okay, so 2 times 7 is 14, so 4, so 1, 0 times 7 is 0, and 4 times 7 is, um, is, um, so it's, uh, that's all. 7 times 4 would be 8, so 8, 2, and I go there, Bang. and then actually, let me replace that, and since it's, you have to count these, so this one, it has one decimal, and that one also has one decimal, so it's going to go over, two decimals, which will be 2.804, I'm pretty sure, or, let's see, oh, it'll go there, okay, and that's how you solve that, 2804, that's how you solve this one. Okay, so 1.06. So you want to move that over to the, 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 the,
and then um, so two goes under ten five times. So yeah, good. Okay, to explain how to solve this problem, 6 over 15 plus 3 over 15, they have common denominator, so we just need to add these two numbers on top. So we're just going to go 6 plus 3 is 9, so let's go equal 9 over 15. And that's how you solve that one. Okay, solving this one is a bit more difficult. So we have different ones on here. So we're going to have to go 2 times 12 would be the common denominator. So let's go 2. One half times twelve equals twelve twenty fourth. So then let's go twenty one twenty four twenty four. Oh wait, no, we don't need to do that, do we? No. So, yeah. And then we solve that, and it would equal 21. So it's 33 over 24. That's an improper. So this is an improper fraction. So we're going to go and make this so 24. So it's going to go 1. And. So it's going to go 1 and 13. No, it's just going to be. So it's going to be 6 on 24. And I'll tell you something. Yay! Okay, so on this problem. On this problem, I'm going to show you how to solve it. So if it's m plus 1 6, then that means that you're going to subtract 1 6. Oh god, that's ginormous. Hold on. Sorry. So. Okay, so um, now. Uh, subtract 1, 6, and then you want to do the same thing from that side as well, because these are separate. Then that leaves us with m equals, and then that cancels out, and then that is going to go to down here, which is 5 over 6 minus 1 6, which would equal 4 6, which is your answer. Moving on to this slide here. Um, okay, so on here, again, so this is a bit different. It's this problem, it's this one. So it's a bit different. 
So that is is a bit different. So it's x. It's one fifth times x. So in order to undo that, we have to go by the reciprocal, which would be so it's going to be five over one. 5 over 1 times, well, times this one. I don't have a lot of space here to make that. So, um, then, yeah, and then, so I take, and then, and then, uh, and then, um, so then, uh, so one fifth over, t okay, so it's five over one times one fifth. Okay. Oh, God. So, sorry. Um, the, uh, the thing. Okay. I'm trying to figure this out. I don't remember how to do that. Oh yeah, you have to do the same thing. That cancels out. Then you have to go that. Okay, then I guess I can. So times, let's just say that's over 1, times 5 over 1. It's basically 4 times 5, which would be 20. So it's basically this. So x equals 4 times 5, which would equal 20, and that is your answer. Sorry, it took a minute. Next problem. 1, okay, so it's 6 over 1 times y, it's the same concept as last time, so you're going to go 6 over 1 times that cancels out, which leaves this to be 1y, or just y, and then it's going to be 1 half times 6 over 1, so then, uh, take that, so y, equals one half times one half times six over one which equals one times six over two times one that cancels out to that so that's wait, never mind hold on I messed up on that so then, um, 6 and 2, and then it's going to be basically 6 over 2, and then it's going to be, um, and then you're going to make it so that it's not an improper fraction. So what you want to do is basically, um, it's going to be... Wow, we're not a genius here. No, we're not. Okay? So it's going to be three. So your answer is going to be three. No, this is what we have to do. It's basically just going to be three. So that's the answer right there. Yay. Just explain everything. Um, series of Problem of the Day has been brought to you by Barrett Wolf. Yeah.